what we call obedience where dogs are required to obey commands so we've got five basic commands uh, five basic commands uh, on obedience that is heel where dogs are taught to walk on the left side of the handler and the seat where dogs are taught to sit when commanded to then they uh, come uh, that is when it is uh, if you want your dog to come to you when it is roaming around, you can call it to you using the word come. And uh, down, that is the dog to lie down when commanded to. And the word, uh, the command stay. Stay is just like a handbrake. The purpose of stay is for the dog to remain on a given position. So we are going to demonstrate what we do on obedience. So we are going to do the five basic words of command. Go ahead and space out this one. The word of command, sit. What you are seeing here. Yeah. Stay is a head break. The dogs will remain on a sitting position. What you, what you are seeing is the down position. And the word of command still applies when we the commands. So that the dog will remain on a, the down position when commanded. Position, the dogs will only work work on the left side of its handler. commanded to stay on the position given.
exercise where dogs are being called from where they've been left, left to come to East India. Agility. The purpose of agility is to train dogs to overcome obstacles during the course of the uh, of its duties. So, watch as we are going to demonstrate agility. Twelve elbows. Condition of the training exercise. These dogs will be able to execute these duties, these commands without the use of secondary composition, which is the leash and the choke chain. You can always use gestures. Gilid, where dogs are told to overcome obstacles during the course of his duties. As I said in the first place, this is the initial training with the continuous uh, repetition of this training exercise, the dogs will be able to overcome these tackles, obstacles without the use of the leash and the chop chain. This, the training, the dogs will be commanded once the dogs, the handler will be standing on the starting point. You just command the dog and command to turn. The required screen is about us. Bad standard. dog best with the end see one man good point good point good point good point good point good point this is the required standard after the initial training this is the required standard From agility now we are going to the scale. Suppose the pitch progress run away. There is a growl. The dogs are trying to climb over the growl. Let's go to the growl. The other one is scaling more. 
beginning of the training, the initial stage of the training, as the, as the training progresses, we increase the height of the scale. Let's go. This is a color. This is this is like a giraffe. Suppose the fish to jumped over the giraffe, the dogs will be able to uh, to apprehend the giraffe. The the fish tip over the giraffe. Now this is the steps and cut off. It's like a, a bridge. <laughs> By a bridge. But here yeah, The dogs must remain on a given position. attack training. This is where by we teach our dogs to bite on command. Training or aggression is to train the dogs to bite on command. And remember, a dog that bite randomly is a, is a liability to the service. So we must always try to avoid our dogs from biting. We are not commanded to. Now what we are going to see is the data. 
you come with a light switch, you inflict a little bit of pain on the dogs, then you run away, and the elder is commanded to release his dog, and remember the dog, the badger will be putting on a padded sleeve so that the dogs cannot bite on his flesh. About all of There comes the better now. He is coming to kick the dogs. He is now switching the dogs. He is switching the dogs so that they become agitated. The purpose of the sleeve is to protect the dog, the veranda, the, the, the bite of them being beaten in the flesh. What we saw was the aggression part of the training exercise. This is how we train manual attack training. Yes. Yes. This will be left on a given position and the dog the handler will be giving commands from a distance. Distance control, the enough. Yeah. Come forward. Do not decide one move. Do not one move. About an adult, this is what we call distance control where the end will be giving commands whilst the dog will be executing the commands from a distance. Double dog, this is the down position. No, 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 down. No, don't! Leave the quick match. About ten and old. Bed. Oh. Oh. About your old Rico. I'm such a, I'm such a, I'm such a, I'm such a. <laughs> 
Ja, ich meine da oben. Ja, mir das schon. Right, what we are going to see now is what we call water training. The area is pressing his dog, commanding him to attack the, the beta. The dog has bitten the sleeve. been apprehended is now going to be surrendered. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> to grab it for a while. One more. Crossing the dam. <laughs> the dog is com the end is commanding his dog to apprehend the fugitive. Fugitive! 
Yes. <laughs> Imba <laughs> Two sa two sa ni amayo ni dog meal. Five hundred grams, five hundred grams to one kg. Eh, fani ngo eh, ibe no chowa ni mbuga kana uti. Zine time zulu fitu kan kan pas. Yeah, zine time tu zone tra nuti mbuga chega kurasi. Fani ma papis, ma papis ano jiga kara kara two baswa. Means maxen tuapa maxen. Ter patoch kama maxen ba ya tu mixage kapshiyo mbu. Jiga ma papis, ma papis tu ani ne ne ngiri ne ne ma ngiri ne ma biki zira kasi ana. Jelasnya <laughs> Nen <laughs> Everything just because of his his body. That's the building shepherd. <laughs> the reason why the 
upper part of the baguette is closed, it simply goes of its agility, it can jump over. So we have to protect it from getting out of the kennel by blocking. We call it a, a puppy run. We call it a puppy run. Whereby we find they will be free from, I mean, they will, they will not be looked, but they will be running over the area, exercising. Now, as you can see, we have two types of um, breeds here. The brown one is a cross of a Belgian Shepherd in, in, in Alsatian. The mother is a Belgian Shepherd, and the, the father of well, the sire is the uh, German Shepherd. Whereas the other, the other group or the other, uh, the other puppies, these are Rottweilers. They are only three months old. And they have to be fed twice daily. That is in the morning and in the evening. So you breed them here or they are coming as puppies? We breed them here. We breed them here. Supti uh, Ara Mangena, acting dog master, the Zimbabwe Prison and Correction Service Dog Section. Uh, the prison dog section started in a small way at Kam Prison, Bulawa, in 1968. A broad dog was employed on guard duties. Though untrained, it proved such an effective psychological deterrent, and from this inauspicious in beginning, the dog section was born. Growth was slow, however, until the service gained possession of Krubi and a start was made on the development of a proper dog training school. Initially, public donations provided the dogs, but later a breeding program was prepared and puppies were born from service to beaches and are now earning their keep, their keep at prisons. Dog training school. This school opened its doors in 1981 and this school has seen the growth of dog section to about 20 stations. Objectives, establishment and identity. Prison dog section is identified by a badge depicting, depicting the head of an Alsatian German Shepherd dog, one on the right hand arm of every handler. Roles of dog section. The roles of dog section are to provide security to prisons, institutions, and prison reserves. Deter prisoners from escaping in fulfillment of prison service mission statement. Control prisons and public rights. Pursue fleeing fugitives. Raise alarm in the event of an attack from outside prisons. Organizations. The Zimbabwe Prison Service Dog Section is organized as follows Dog Training School Operation. Command and Control. The head of Zimbabwe Prison Service Dog Section shall be a dog master of the rank of Chief Soup. The dog master shall be a trained dog trainer with vast experience in dog matters and who passes unquestionable managerial skills. The deputy dog master shall be trained dog trainer of the rank of superintendent with experience in dog administration. The training officer dogs and the regional assistant dog master shall be of the ranks of CPO, that is CCOs, PCOs respectively, reporting to the deputy dog master. At station dog sections in charge advise the officer in charge but report to regional assistant dog masters all matters concerning dogs and dog handlers. Functions of the dog master head the small prisons saves dog section, select trainee dog handlers, be responsible for the selection and the breeding of suitable stock for service work, supervise dog section operation, operations nationally, conduct annual tours to stations with dogs to assess working performance of handlers and dogs. Deploy handlers and dogs after training. Source modern dog training techniques from other countries. Coordinate inter-service dog championship tournaments. Undertake any other task assigned by management. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe what else can we function? I think this is not too sad. Maybe Okay. Else can we have? I think we, we can have uh, selection of dogs. 
each dog acquired should be given carefully screening before it is accepted. The dog which is about to be acquired should be given a two-week probationary period at dog training school and preliminary screening prior to training should be done. Tests should be made on the following. That is age, sex, physical fitness, confirmation, temperament. Those, those tests, we have to put them on, that, on those tests. Donations, all donations of dogs, puppies, are, or dog food, if any, should be dealt with in accordance with the Zimbabwe Prison Service regulations concerning same. For all donations of dogs to the service, an indemnity the form should be signed by both donor and dog master or his representatives. Uh, maybe breeding. Breeding should be done for service purposes only and the following may apply. Breeding to be practiced at the prison dog training school only. Puppies to be read at the prison dog training school or at any approved location or site. Bitches will be used for breeding purposes only. Sires may be sourced from other government security organizations or 